It'll be one to go this time, by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Okay, we're joined now in the uh, conference room by Patrick Carpentier, top qualifying way bestest rookie of the year candidate today, and sixth overall. Congratulations. Tell us about that run today, another good one. You had a bunch lately. Yeah, thanks. I was going to say not everybody at once. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's been uh, – I'm really happy. I mean, this morning we struggled a little bit, and uh, we're at the back of the pack, and, and uh, the car was uh, tight. Tied in three and four, and a little loose turn one, two, and uh, watched Elliot uh, do his run and his line, and talk to him, and he always helps me so much. I have uh, two great teammates that uh, that always talk to me, and uh, what he explained to me made a lot of sense before qualifying, and I kind of did the same uh, race line he did uh, going into corner one, and I was watching uh, Juan Pablo going there, and I was like, mm, I'm not going deep enough in that corner, and. All that helped out, but the guys did a good job. I mean, Tow Truck in the Box is a uh, first-time sponsor on a, a Spring Cup car and for us this weekend. And we had them on a Nationwide last weekend, so I'm very happy for them to, uh, I think we should start uh, top 10. So it's uh, it's exciting. I'm really uh, looking forward to this race. We almost had a top 20 last time here, and hopefully we'll get one here. couple questions for our uh, top rookie. Yeah, Brett McMillan from PRN. I know that at one point, August 15th had been set as a deadline. <laughs> What, where do things stand now? What's your timetable as far as your future? Yeah, for me, I would have put the deadline on January 15, but uh, <laughs> I guess uh, we talked uh, a couple of weeks ago in Montreal and uh, decided to uh, extend it a little bit. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I know the team wants to move some stuff around and they got things to do, but uh, I'm fairly confident from what they, they tell me. They're uh, looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully I'm back in the same seat because we worked really hard with that number 10 car. and with the guys and uh, I got a great group great uh, group of guys working on a car and I don't want to lose these guys so hopefully uh, I'm back in the same place but uh, within the next few weeks they said they would uh, they would tell me so I don't decide uh, for the date I just kind of wait and if they say yes I'll be a real happy guy and if they say no then we'll see what uh, what else we have we can talk to other teams now we are going to start this weekend so uh, I'm going to start doing that I know a couple of teams came to see uh, Robert he works uh, with me and uh, so we're going to talk with these guys too and uh, and see what happens. But uh, I really hope I'm uh, back in that seat because I think we've built a lot of stuff and we're getting better and better and uh, we're starting to know each other more and more. And I think in this series, all the little details count. And if I could stay there, I think it's going to help. Tom? Uh, what's the holdup? What if they told you to ask for that delay? Yeah, I cannot say. They asked me not to uh, to say, but uh, they're going to do a lot of uh, shuffling around, moving around, and I don't know what that means, if it's with people or sponsors or what it is, but uh, I know they're working on a lot of stuff, and uh, I guess they want to see also when I get back to a uh, track second time. So we had a good qualifying here, so it's uh, it's pretty good, but uh, I don't know, honestly, I'm not in the... Uh, I'm not in their uh, in their secret, so uh, I hope they do that. But uh, it's for me. I'd like to stay because I had a team a while back in uh, Formula Atlantic was Lynx Racing uh, that really felt like a family. And uh, to me, this team is truly the same way it was when I was in Formula Atlantic. And uh, I like the people that are there. The only guy that I got problem with is Elliot, but uh, no, no, I'm joking because <laughs> he just came in. But uh, no, and these guys and Elliot helps me, and every time before qualifying, it helps me so much. So I really hope I'm back there. You need an interpreter when you guys talk to each other? What? Is interpreter when you guys talk to each other? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to make fun anymore. I did last week. He made fun of me last week, and I cried like for yeah. a couple of days. Yeah, and that's why you know, like today, I tried to talk to him a little bit before his qualifying lap, and he just shakes his head like he understands me, but he really doesn't. And that's why he does so well because he he doesn't listen to me, so it works out pretty good for us. <laughs> All right, as you might surmise, we have our number three qualifier, driver number nineteen, Stanley Dodge, Elliot Sadler. Good run today. Tell us about it, and then we'll go to questions. If we don't have any more for Patrick, we'll uh, excuse him. Thank you, guys. All right, good thank you, you. Elliot. Can you get me one of those? I mean, I'd like to have one. Can you give me one? Yep. yep. All right, see, so work on that. Oh, the uh, tool truck in the bucket. Yeah, I think that'd be oh, good. Yeah. They'll never get stuck again. Yeah, I know. That's, <laughs> that's what I want. I want one. Guaranteed. We will. Guaranteed. Who am I actually talking to? Just you? There's people next door listening. Oh, okay, so just checking. I feel kind of lonely in here. Hey, Elliot Sadler, he's going to tell us about that qualifying run. Go ahead. 
I uh, just very happy with my team. I mean, that, that's a really good lap for us. Um, I messed up a little bit in turn one and two, but I don't think I could have ran what Brian ran. That was a great lap for him and his team. But uh, a good starting position for us. Um, gives us a good starting spot for Sunday for a good 400 mile race. We're racing for a million bucks this weekend um, with Stanley and Ace Hardware donating a million dollars to the Children's Miracle Network if we win the race. So. Uh, to start third gives us a, um, a pit box with an opening to help us on pit road, help us with pit strategy. So all in all, we've um, started off this weekend on the right foot. Questions for Elliot Sadler. Please give us your name and affiliation if you have a question. Dominique Fijal, Journal de Montréal. Elliot, uh, good thing he just left because uh, we were talking about uh, him having, uh, Patrick having a uh, August 15th deadline that was pushed back. Tell us a little bit about how he fits in the team and how you'd like to have him back or not. Yeah, I, I really like Patrick a lot. A great guy, just amazing personality. Um, I think he improves every week. Um, I think he's going to uh, really turn some heads the second time we go back to these racetracks. But uh, just a great guy. I, mean, I, I love being around him. And we, we joke and kid that we can't understand each other a lot, but we actually talk a ton on, on every weekend. Um, about setups and handling of the car and what we should be feeling and not feeling and things like that. But uh, just a good teammate. Uh, you know, we have a great system at Gillette Everton Motorsports where all the guys get along well, and, and he fits that system good. Would you rather have him in one of your cars or one of the competition cars? Well, I would like to keep him if we can. You know, you know, it's all sponsorship stuff is very hard to come by right now in, in NASCAR racing. We all understand that. But I would love to have him in a Gillette Everton Motorsports car uh, for, for next year. So, you know, we'll see how that how that plays out, but I think you got to make sure you have the right funding and, and all the right pieces of the puzzle to, to make things work. So, you know, and, and for a good, you know, 38 race season, it's a long season, so you got to have the right funding to make that happen. So I think that's, I, mean, I don't know, I don't I don't talk about the team's business and really know what's going on. I just talk to Patrick every once in a while, but I know he wants to stay and uh, and, and be a part of, part of the team, and I'd like to have him, but I just think we just got to um, make sure all the pieces of the puzzle are put together. More questions for Elliot Sadler. Have a question? Any more? Okay. Elliot, thank you very much. Great. Thanks, right. guys. Appreciate you letting me get out of bed and come over here and do this for you guys.